Hey everyone, Shad McFadden here from Orange Grove Consulting. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We are joined by Jody Detchen, our managing partner here at Orange Grove. Morning, Jody. Hi. So we talked last time about the nature of the problem that we find with women in leadership. And you mentioned how this is not a new problem. So my question for you is why is this still an issue today? That's so interesting in my in our observation and our research, we do copious research on these areas. We still see the same problem. So there's still a mindset problem, there's still a skill set problem, and then there's still a process problem. So mindset is, is that we have these assumptions that are still very gendered about what women's work looks like, what men's work looks like. And it's silly that, you know, here we are in 2023, are still talking about the fact that women are more likely to be in HR versus operations. And it's, it's very interesting. Also, in some of our research, when we look at pay equities, we see similar type jobs, but jobs that are female noted or for jobs that are male noted are paid differently, even though they do similar type work. So the problem is this mindset of this is the way it is, this is what we should do. The second thing is about skill sets. We need to figure out what the skill sets are required for women to overcome some of these socialized norms, for men to overcome some of these socialized norms, and for leaders to overcome some of these socialized norms. So we actually start opening up our mind as to what leader is generically, not gendered. And so it's very interesting because some of the research that I've done talks about how oftentimes male approach in leadership is very, do it now, compete, very good, we've got to get it done. And female leadership tends to be more collaborative. And so there is this shift actually across most organizations and industries towards a more collaborative approach of leadership. As we start to define leadership in a much more generic terms, and we start to understand and distill why men and women may be operating in different norms and what we're valuing in our organization, these are skill sets that we can actually train. And then the third area is processes. So I spoke about in another video, this idea of these developmental assignments. We need to look across our talent pipeline and we need to say, what are all the different ways that women are being left out or men are maybe being left out depending upon where we are in the, in the, um, the functional hierarchy. What are the decision-making things? What are we valuing? What are the skill sets that we need? What are the attitudes? What are the behaviors? And we need to look at these in a lot of detail to understand, are we making biased decisions? Are we choosing one versus another because we have a gut that yeah, he's like me, so therefore I'm going to promote him. Or she's not, she's like me, so I'm going to promote her. So what does this look like? And we distill it across the entire talent pipeline. Organizations have done a great job with hiring, by the way. Across the board, we see a lot of improvement in terms of the percentage of women that are being hired. And even at the higher level, we also see a lot of parity across pay. So at the beginning front end of this talent pipeline, organizations have made significant progress over the last, progress over the last decade. Now we need to take that exact same progress and apply it across the pipeline. So those are the three things that I think organizations need to do. Shift the mindset, build the skills, and let's look at and examine at and change these processes. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jody. And you touched on some things that we've all felt when we're in that situation, but actually knowing that it's happening, uh, you really gave us some great steps to take to start to see it for what it is. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. And thank you out there who are watching. Uh, thanks for joining us today and check back soon for more information from Orange Grove Consulting. Thank you.